release date for Nikki Tardust yet? June 24th. June 24th. Here to her for your final and <laughs> bonus tracks. Um, iTunes too, every, but everything has different bonus tracks. Nice. iTunes included? Huh? iTunes too? Yeah, iTunes has uh, a song called Backwards and Flowers, um, <laughs> which is something for me and Trent did. Excuse me. For the album, and it also has a song called War at Once, which is the original version of What the Fuck. Nice. Um, which had uh, Trent singing the chorus of Finding Every Word Once and I'm Winning, which uh, I typed him that. Yeah. I texted him a poem that started with that, and he came back with the music with him singing that. Uh, in a place of chorus, and I, then I recited a poem. But I didn't release it because I ended up rewriting the song. Um, so this is the original version with the poem and Trent sings the chorus, you know, the what the fuck do you And then another song, Bad Rhythm Flowers, which is a weird kind of like dance track. Nice. It's on iTunes. Nice. What's on the physical release? The CD? Yes. The CD has uh, the other cover that we did, which is uh, me, CX, and Trent doing um, this Earth, Wind, and Fire song called Can't Hide Love. Nice. It's really really hardcore, just super fast. <laughs> um, I wanted to try and do a punk version of a Earth, Wind and Fire song, so that's awesome. what that is. And it has uh, another song called Pedagogue of Young God, which is the original version of No One Ever Does. Uh, and, and a lot of the original versions of the songs before I wrote lyrics, before I wrote songs, I wrote poems to them. So it's pretty much just a poem over that music. Um, but it's really cool because me and Trent recorded that in the morning. We recorded at like 10 in the morning in one take. And it was a really like unique 
kind of strange. It's, I think it might be the first thing. Hey, Raz, how's it going? All right, thanks. How are you? Cool. Good. Cool. Let's go get that fruit. Okay, have fun. It might be uh, the first thing we recorded for the album. I'm not sure. But it's beautiful. I know it's one of the first things. And so, uh, yeah, Pedagogue of Young God, and then it has, uh, what else? Gunshots by Computer. Nice. And it has, um, the survivalism mix of my version of it. Which version? The, the version oval? With my lyrics. Oh, uh, yeah. far superior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he liked that version a lot, though. So, um, we might have something else. Is that two discs or one? They haven't, oh. we haven't figured it out yet. Oh, okay. They're coming back uh, to let us know the cost. Right. But that, it might have to be two discs because I right. think it's too much time, too much space. Mm -hmm. Did you pack? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And uh, anything on the vinyl? Uh, gate, we call it gate, gatefold, gatefold vinyl. Um, that one has a song um, called "World on Wheels," World. which is uh, that, that had to be on vinyl because it feels very club anthem Um Really weird, oh, so intellectual, so, so so intellectual. It's um, it's really me and um, it, it started out with me and CS. Trent helped out on it, but it's it's a uh, it's a CX track that we all worked on. Oh, uh, it's exclusive to the vinyl. Uh, I think so. Rough. I think so. Oh, well, but you I, know, someone will. Uh, yeah. I mean, we do it like that, but you know, everybody's gonna end up having it, and only two people will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I hope it works out. But yeah, it's. it's, it's I believe it will be exclusive to the vinyl. I'm kind of confused by it all. But I think that's the plan. a lot to keep track of. Yeah. I only know because we decided today and yesterday. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's awesome. Did you, um, I mean, would you have done it different to where you had the stuff now to like sell at these kind of shows? Or is it oh, yeah. I definitely planned on having the vinyl by now. I just bought your record today. I mean, yeah. <laughs> getting the back catalog, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, now I planned on having the vinyl by now. That was mm -hmm. the plan, but it fell through. Any other music for sale tonight? Um, there's, uh, there's the Saul Williams album. Mm -hmm. and then there's the Set the Shotgun to the Head Symphony. Symphony? Uh, yeah, there was a, um, there's been symphonies written for two of my poems, which is weird. Um, the Swiss composer. Um, named Thomas Kepner he used to work with this band called Tangerine Dream way back, yeah. And so he's a, a punk guard, 70, like 71, 72. He's a huge fan. And uh, when I, right when I finished, said the shot was in the head. He flew in from Switzerland and um, and ended up writing a, a symphony for Eighty Piece Orchestra and myself for that book. And so I performed it with the Basel Symphony Orchestra. And so that's been recorded, and that we have that tonight. And right now, um, he's in uh, Switzerland recording the the, string, the the symphony for the Dead MC Scrolls was done with the string quartet, and we premiered that at um, I think it was in Austria. And so now that recording is being done right now. The music track I've already done my own. Wow. Just a bunk car, weird. Got your camera to work? Is I that got it? My camera. All right, come on, let's take a picture.